Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to McGahee's Entertainment. I'm your host as always, Adam McGahee. Before we hop into this video, be sure to hit that like button like that clone trooper who punched a droid in the face, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to hit that bell icon for it really helps the channel out. Alright, let's hop right into this. Got some interesting news that fleshes out the character of Luke Skywalker from the ever-divisive movie Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now there was an article published today on July 5th by Screen Rant that breaks down exactly why Luke was so hesitant to train Rey in the movie and was in fact terrified of her. Lucasfilm has recently published an in-universe book called Secrets of the Jedi, supposedly compiled from Luke Skywalker's notes shortly before his death. In one section, he discusses the idea of force bonds, explaining that the force can be used to mystically connect two people. Though this may seem like a harmless, and perhaps even valuable, ability, Luke writes, it is easily manipulated by those on the dark side. Some powerful force users have been able to create secret bonds with others who are unaware of their connection. Then they use these bonds to corrupt their target and steer their actions. Even if the unwanted bond is detected, it can still be extremely difficult to break. Now this text is accompanied by an image of Rey and Kylo Ren, making it clear who Luke was referring to when he wrote these words. The article goes on to say that, Luke could be forgiven for believing history was repeating itself. Palpatine used a force bond to corrupt Ben Solo, one he may well have created even before Ben was born. The Emperor had watched Ben from afar, subtly manipulating him, even able to whisper in Ben's ear when he stood next to Luke himself. Luke was unaware of Palpatine's survival, but no doubt he had spent years of exile looking back and deducing that Snoke was created just for that kind of secret bond. Thus, when Luke was looking at Rey and recognized the connection to Kylo Ren, he would have assumed his former apprentice was trying the same trick that Snoke did. Of course, in reality, Rey and Kylo Ren were not merely bonded, they were a dyad in the Force. This concept was barely explained in The Rise of Skywalker, but subsequent Star Wars tie-ins have confirmed it is a natural phenomenon created by the will of the Force, just as was the birth of Anakin Skywalker, and this can be cultivated. The Force dyad has not been seen for millennia because it appears to require both the light and dark sides of the Force. As a result, neither Luke nor Palpatine had any idea of what they were really dealing with. I've been hearing really interesting things about this Secrets of the Jedi book. Content like this really helps flesh out the characters and movie details that you don't get to see on screen, and it honestly really makes me excited for the future that Star Wars holds. I would love to see the concept of the Force Diet explained more. The fact that Kylo and Rey could transmit physical objects to each other through the Force was quite fascinating. I, like many fans, was very upset to see Ben Solo die at the end of Rise of Skywalker after he gave his life so that Rey could live, but who is to say that the Force Diad Force connection stops at death? Perhaps they are so deeply connected that Rey can discover a way to bring Kylo back to life through the Dyad. It may be a bit far-fetched, but it certainly can be within the realm of possibility due to the mysterious nature of the Force Dyad. Also, with the ongoing rumors that Disney may retcon the whole sequel trilogy through time travel, honestly, <laughs> anything can happen at this point. Now, what do you think of Luke's views of the Dyad? What are your personal thoughts on the Dyad? Would you like to see more sequel trilogy content explore this faction? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for it really helps us out. Thank you so much for watching, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.